Hey Jim, I just want to try and figure out where you are in relation to the rest of the FOMC. The rest of the FOMC. I, I know that the majority of the dots are now looking for two rate hikes in 2023, but there are some people who are looking for for rate hikes in 2022. Where do you kind of come down? Where where's your dot? Yeah, I put uh, uh, I, I put us starting in late 2022, but uh, you do have to have the idea that these are related to what the forecast is. So my forecast said uh, 3% uh, inflation in 2021, core PC inflation, and 2.5% core PC inflation in uh, 2022. So but if, but if that's what you think is going to happen, then by the time you get to the end of 2022, you'd already have two years of two and a half to three percent inflation. So to me, that would meet our uh, new framework where we said we're going to allow inflation to run above target for some time. And then from there, we could bring inflation down to two percent over the uh, subsequent horizon. Now, uh, I just caution everybody that, you know, other members have other forecasts for inflation. And some of those, if you look at some of those dots, they're below 2% in 2022. So this is a very much a debate about uh, what's going to happen in 2022. Is the inflation that we're seeing in 2021 going to persist into 2022 or not? And I think for those that have dots further out, uh, they're most likely associated with uh, a forecast that says that the inflation will go back down below 2% during that year, and then the committee wouldn't have to, uh, you know, wouldn't be oriented toward uh, raising rates at that point. I would say also about this that these are things far in the future in an environment where we've got a lot of volatility, so it's not at all clear that any of this will pan out uh, the way anybody's talking about it. So we're going to have to we're going to have to go uh, meeting by meeting and see what happens. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.